what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a holy grail figure unboxing I have been saving up and trying to get a ton of my holy grail figures it's been hard I've gotten two so far including the one I'm about to show you so the first one I'm going to unbox today in this video is the Nisekoi Chitoge Kirisaki figure. I've been wanting this figure since I started watching the series back in high school and I haven't been able to find it for a good price until recently. This is a pre-owned figure but she is like new. She was very well taken care of um, apparently so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unboxes before I get started unboxing this please don't forget to like subscribe your support would mean a lot to me and yeah let's get to unboxing her okay so first off I just want to say that this is such a stunning box that she comes in I absolutely love how decorative it is I just is the synopsis of the whole show if you want to read that really quick if you want to pause packaging is so stunning and I love how you can just see her in there so cute absolutely adorable this makes me miss the show so much wish they made another season but still waiting here is the side so you can see how she comes or how she's going to look and then the back And then the other side. Even the colors on this packaging are so cute. All right, and now let's open her up. Instructions on how to put her together. Cute little illustration. Here's the base, so cute. This might be one of my favorite bases that I have on a figure. So simple, but so adorable. It's really thin, and the key along with the names and the decorative dots shine, so, so cute. And then here is the stand that she's supposed to be on. So I'm guessing we just fit that here. Okay. Simple enough. And then here is our Queen Bee Chitoge. Alright, let me just put this extra stuff away. Alright. And here she is, so cute. I love how saturated the colors are, how bright she is. I love the colors on her sweater. This pose isn't just some basic figure pose. The other figures of her are just like her in her uniform with I think a peace sign pose and then another one with her swimsuit pose. I'm not a big or her swimsuit outfit. I'm not a big fan of swimsuit figures in anime, unless it, it's like a big part of the anime and not just like some fan service beach episode. This is just absolutely, this is my favorite figure. I cannot believe I have her. Even her nails are painted, so cute. The folds on her shirt are there. I love the patterns on her shoes, 
her little bracelet her earrings are adorable just everything about this is just so god beautiful i have been team chitoge from the start and i will die on that hill oh my god uh, i don't know if you can tell but there's a little color on the tips or at the ends of her hair very subtle but very much there there's a little black spot even her belt is loose over here she has her bow on the back i feel like the more you look at this figure the more subtle details you notice are there so i'm gonna put her on her base now um let's see how i should do that oh so there is a little hole on her sweater where you can do that okay she does seem a little heavy for her base so i'm hoping that won't be a problem in the long run but let me give you a better look at her but i mean just look at her she is gorgeous i do love the fact that she comes with a metal stand instead of a plastic one i know the plastic ones are better in the fact that they're transparent so it looks like nothing is holding them um up but i just feel like the metal even though it's kind of obvious i mean it's not really obvious in this position or for this figure i guess um since it's kind of hiding in the back I, but i just feel like it holds better and it doesn't have that risk of snapping in half i had a megamine figure from konosuba that i really love that the plastic stick actually broke but i was able to get a new figure of her so i was okay in the end but i just feel like those are really just fragile i mean the figures themselves are fragile enough so yeah i'm gonna give a better look after i finish this video so stay till the end to see a better um view of her i'll like pan up and down so you can see all sides of her and how pretty she is but overall i am so happy with her she's just so stunning that's all i can say i can't wait to open and unbox my other holy grail figure that i got in another video because this is another one that i have been eyeing since i've watched the series so stay tuned for that one it's a little close-up of her eyes to show you just how beautiful they are they glow they shine they are absolutely perfect uh, I did notice she only has one set of earrings or one earring so she doesn't have one on this side I guess that's just part of her outfit and then her nails if you want to take a look at how they're painted so cute there are a couple of specks on her hair there's one over there and then one over here but again she was pre-owned so I don't really mind it that much honestly it's not that big of a deal there's another one right over there but just look how amazing her hair flows so stunning that'd be one of my favorite parts of this figure along with just the overall colors and outfit and pose <laughs> Just the way she talks her hair behind her ears. I am in love with Chitoge. And like this is making me want to go back and rewatch all the episodes again. Oh my god. Beautiful. 10 out of 10 figure. So yeah, that was the Chitoge Kirisaki altar figure. She is a 1 8 scale. I'm really happy that I finally got her. Um, she has been on my holy grail list for a while. And I finally have her and I'm really happy that you could join me in unboxing her and uh, seeing her in all her glory. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys!